ان الحمد لله نحمد تعالى ونستعين ونستغفر ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو محتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم Verily all praises belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank him. We worship him alone. We seek refuge in him and seek his support and assistance in all of our affairs. And we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our selves our own selves and our wicked deeds that we perform and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and i bear witness that there is no one worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad ibn Abdullah is his last prophet and messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran wa qada rabbuka ala ta'budu illa iyyahu wa bil walidayn ihsana Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that your lord has ordered you wa qada rabbuka ala ta'budu illa iyahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he is your lord has commanded you to not worship anything except him illa iyahu wa bil walidayn ihsana and to the parents be righteous or be good and serve them In this ayah as the ulama point out for us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has paired up two very important acts of worship showing us of course first and foremost the importance of tawhid of worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone because Allah commanded us Qada rabbuka ala ta'budu illa iyahu That your Lord has commanded you not to worship except Him. So the first act of ibadah is worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. It's tawheed. Allah has commanded us with tawheed. Showing us the importance of tawheed. And then in this very ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us with being righteous and serving our parents. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many shortcomings. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Showing us the importance of serving our parents. And that it is so important and such a high level such a high level of good deeds in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he paired it with Tawheed. He commanded us with Tawheed and then he mentioned that deed. He could have mentioned anything, subhanahu wa ta'ala, but he commanded with that. And what also affirms for us the importance of being righteous to your parents and serving them and its status as one of the highest deeds. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked by Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu قال أَيَّ أَعْمَال أُحِبُّ عَلَى اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ 
قال الصلاة على وقتها قال ثم أي قال بير والدين قال ثم أي قال جهاد في سبيل الله عبد الله بن مسعود رضي الله تعالى عنه إن صحيح حديث that you find in صحيحين that the he asked the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about what is the most beloved deed to Allah the Almighty the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam responded by saying prayer during its time then he said then what he said serving your parents being righteous to your parents he said then what and then he said jihad fi sabilillah showing us that the status of serving your parents is so high in islam and that allah the almighty the lord of the heavens and earth the one who created all things the one who we would return to inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un that he subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that deed along with worshiping him and him alone and that alone is sufficient to let us know that we should strive to be kind and gentle and serving toward, towards our parents and rush even today if you're listening today try to do one even a small thing acting upon this acting upon what we just discussed and bi I'm going to try to be the first to, to do that and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins and may Allah bless us with ikhlas with the bat wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam